old guy just tried to push me off the train. Okay, right here. Excited for the oons oons. Zach, you should strive to be more like them. Do you have any money? No. This is why you always come early to buy your train tickets. Sometimes it takes, you know, three, four minutes for them to take your money, get you a ticket, give yourself a lot of time. At least 30 minutes, at least. Two tickets. Now we play the what kind of train is it gonna be? Really old, new-ish, or new? What do we think? We got compartments. Uh, okay, okay. This is a new style of train for us, but first let's check the bathroom. Okay, okay. This is actually like decently nice and it doesn't smell horrible. And the toilet paper's not wet. Wow. The toilet paper's been wet in every single train we've taken. That's crazy. So like you have compartments like this? Yeah. And you have this like big open like area. We've never seen the train that has this big open area. We've always been like in a compartment or the whole train's open, like a newer, more modern train. So this is nice. Cause you get a lot more airflow. Sometimes the compartments can be really hot, really stuffy. So for five hours, this is pretty nice. Yeah, I'm happy about this situation. And I'm happy that we made it on the train. We literally stepped on and probably 45 seconds later, we're already moving. This old guy just tried to push me off the train. This guy right here. Like it's a pretty big step down and I'm stepping down carrying my bags and he just tried to shove right past me. So, I'm not really a fan of you. I'm not. Al, Alba Ulia. Alba Ulia. I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> But it's okay, thank you. I hate saying that to people because it's like not trying to be rude, but like, I know they're trying to be helpful, but I obviously don't understand them. And so I don't know how else to say like, yeah, I, I don't understand, I'm sorry. I really don't know exactly. Okay. But you knew it exists. Yeah, because um, was somebody asked me a few days ago. Ah, <laughs> okay. 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 So we think, exactly. we think this in way. The, yeah, in this way. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Is that okay? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. A little sterile. Yeah. I think they were designed in the same style of like the communist style apartment buildings. So look at this hotel. Like the gray, beige, concrete. But well, these look new. If you're from Alba Ulia, can you let me know? Are these, this big stretch of apartment buildings, are they new? I don't know, there's a rave happening. We gotta go find it. I'm excited for the oons oons. Okay, it is a street food festival. Look at this. Oh my god. The problem is we have like no cash. All the Ulians, they're all out and about. I do say I tip my hat to this fan last. Also, I haven't showered in like three days. I feel disgusting. Neither of us slept last night. And I think you're just delirious right now. Let's go eat some tripe soup. 
now. The next morning. So stay tuned till the end to see if I live because at any point Zach might snap. You're actually gonna believe that. Let's go. <laughs> The whole place feels like it should be in a TV show or like used as like a castle. To be fair, all of Romania kind of feels like that. It's so beautiful. I don't know why there's not more hype around Romania because to me it feels like a very underrated country and it's pretty affordable to travel if you're coming from the West. I don't know, I feel like I could spend like two, three months traveling around Romania and just being on every place I go. There's like five different priests walking into another church is the opposite of a walk of shame. Just five boys rolling into church early on a Sunday morning. Zach, you should strive to be more like them. It's the battle of the churches. You have the Catholics with their loud bell, the Orthodox Church with the singing, and I was trying to make it like Crips and Blood, but I don't think it came across. Oh, cute. It's a lot stronger. So I'm in Dan. Trying to find a bakery, but it's Sunday, so I don't think we're gonna be in luck. Everything's closed on Sundays because hashtag church. But luckily, coffee vending machine. Coffee vending machine is here for us. Ooh, I'll give you a stick wow. too. Wow. Two lay. This looks pretty good. I kind of want one. Do you have any money? No. Nope. What the? I'll give you a hug though. <laughs> I don't even want that. Oh, wow. We had a couple hours to kill. We'd come sit, we'd eat, we'd drink, and yeah, kind of just hang out. The atmosphere is nice. I'm excited to be here for the next like three hours, but I feel like the staff is not excited that we'll be here for the next three hours. It's lunchtime, so that means you can drink beer now, right? People drink beer for breakfast. We've seen a lot of locals do it at the train station. I don't know if that's slander. I don't know if I should say that. So I think that's the end of this video. When we get to the train station in a couple hours, we'll start the next one. So day 11 of Transylvania by train. See you soon.